Ah, yeah. we've made the slides. We've made okay. the slides. We... Do you want to uh, go like all out, slide by slide, or present? Then I will comment later. Which one do you prefer? Uh, we can try present. Uh, giving a press statement first. Okay. Uh, is it okay, Clarissa? Yeah, it's fine. It sounds good actually. Okay, so I'm going to put the stopwatch anytime you're ready. Okay, uh, uh, Clarissa, do you want to go first or how are we going to separate the... Uh, we, let's... Uh, no, we lost you. Let's, let's, let's interchange slide by slide so I don't want to you do the next slide. But I think it would be better if you do one part and then straight away I do one part, right? Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, we will just alternate slides. Uh, do you think it's better to alternate the slides or is it better for you to do like half and then for me to do the half or I do the first half? Let's uh, alternate slides. Okay. okay. Um, you guys should only have 30 minutes with me. So the yeah. later that you start, the All right. more time. Start, yeah. It's starting now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. I set the time. Yeah. Okay. Um, good morning, uh, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. All right. Um, okay. Today, in this press statement, we'd like to address um, the issue of whether the 50k fine that was imposed on the burger hawker who violated them, the 10 p.m. curfew is justified. So, first, we'd like to share um, what happened. Um, and 21, which is after um, when the law has already been in effect. At 10, 10 p.m., um, a burger hawker was found to have the store still open. Turns out the burger hawker was only waiting for his final orders to be picked up, but the police on duty noted that his station was still not clean. Um, uh, so, sorry. Sorry? Uh, you're saying that the burger hawker were only waiting for the orders? Waiting for the orders to pick up, yes. I think it's better to word your word, which is waiting for the customer to pick their orders. Because what you are saying is basically waiting for orders, meaning they are still waiting for orders to come. Ah, okay, cool. So when you say waiting for customer to pick up their orders, so it makes more sense. Um, the reason for the police officer to investigate and visit this brother hawker was because he has received a complaint of him operating past a lot of um, And hence the police officer issued the offense note and a fine of 50,000 ringgit. Sorry, I so. think for officer A, you should not say receive a complaint because you receive a complaint, if officer B is there, officer B should also receive a complaint. Uh, okay. So I think the proper way is to say that officer A issued a compound while officer B thinks that the first warning is better All right. for, uh, for non-repeat offenders. Uh, All right. So you do not need to put all of this, just put it, but you need to explain, okay? Okay. Okay, proceed. All right. Um, officer B thinks that it is better to issue a warning for um, non-first offenders. So in here we would, oh sorry, in here we would, ex uh, we would explain how we resolve this dispute and and um, share image, share what the clarifications uh, respect to this problem. Um. Yeah, the problem statement is that the policy will be clarified to avoid any misinterpretation and to inform everyone 
including the public and the police officials uh, to know their right better and to follow the safety protocol. And we would also like to share, uh, to inform the public that they have the rights to, to appeal to the health ministry if they find that the issue compound to them is, is inappropriate or unfair. Okay, so the KKM, is it? Health Ministry, yeah. Yes, KKM. Okay, so does KKM have the power to ask a police officer to do something? I think they have the power to reduce the uh, fine. Okay, so any complaints will be made to the KKM, is it? What yes, yes. Yeah, they can appeal to the health ministry for reduction. Okay, what happens if that complaint is not being heard? Uh, what do you mean if they if they don't appeal the complaint? No, if if for example they complain to KKM but KKM do not take action, what will happen then? Uh, they will definitely they can. I think they should definitely take an action, or an investigation should be opened. Uh, that, for, on that, that, is that is what you think. What happens when KKM don't take uh, action? No further action by KKM. What uh, happens then? So, do you mean specifically on this case or, or, or in ge on general? On this case. On this case, maybe during the press statement, we will urge the health ministry to, to. So the take... police police officer has the power to urge the health ministry. To appeal, we See, can that, just. That's where the problem the problem comes. You are the police. Mm -hmm. You are assigning other body to uh, to review any complaint where you don't have the power to ask them. You get what I mean? Not really. Yeah. Um, no, no I, I think I get what you mean. It's because we are the ones that issued the, the punishment, right? Okay. Yes. And if they don't agree with it, then we should be the ones to tell them why we why they, um, they deserve that or did not deserve that, right? Instead of putting it to instead of signing it to someone else. In yes. this case, it's KKM who... Yes, what I think is, if there's a complaint, then maybe you can issue this to also the police officer. Okay. So, because if not, like, uh, if KKM don't take action, what, what's going to happen? Because what you're saying is that you don't want this to happen again. Mm. So if people think that they are being fined unjustly, where who who they actually turn to? Basically, it's you guys. Okay. That's why you guys are issuing this press statement, not the KKM. Yeah, true. So, so does, uh, does it make sense? So in this problem statement, we what we have written here, we would share what to do if one thinks that they find if they think they're unjustly fined. Yes, what to do. But what to do, but we don't mention KKM. Yes, then who? Um, they can appeal to us, the and I specifically us as, as the inspector general. Okay, so easiest way is that maybe after this, you guys want to implement a reviewing committee for complaints. So instead of uh, telling them to appeal to the health ministry, you will tell that we will open a investigation or case review on you, this case. You don't case. need to open an investigation you need to have a reviewing committee for fines that, that are, are being made unjustly. Do you get what um, I mean? A new okay. committee should be assembled for this. Yes, a new task or a new committee because that person, they say that they are unjustly fined. But to be honest, maybe that they are the second or third offender. That's why they are being fined. Okay, so, so your suggestion, what would be a better way is to um, create a, a dedicated task force to review I, I would, I would these cases. Like we would also share what to do if one thing she or he is unjustly fined or is unable to pay the fine because you see unjustly fined and unable to pay the fine. When you are unjustly fined, a new committee will review any complaints made for the fine that are being made unjustly by our officer first. Mm -hmm. And for unable to pay the fine, 
you can go for any legal uh, representation to, for example, uh, lawyers have their Yayasan Bantuan Guaman to get uh, to uh, to get some legal re uh, review. But since they are unable to pay the fine, how are you going to solve this problem? Because you are the one who put unable to pay the fine. What should they do when they are unable to pay the fine? Is it crowdfund? Because this is your word, unable to pay the fine. I think you should say, you should stop at unjustly fine. Okay. Because when you put or is unable to pay, the fine is going to be like, okay, so what are the solutions for they are being unable to pay the fine? So um, what if we have a, so suppose that they think they are justly fine, but they are unable to pay the fine. That, say that is one of the questions that we get, right? Okay, then so what happens if they are unable to pay the fine? I would say that this reviewing committee will review back whether they can be waived from the fine. Okay. I would say that's the safe way to do to do about it. All right. Completely waive the fine, sir? Um, do they review whether they can be waived or not? Yeah, so the reviewing this... committee, they are the ones who can cancel the fine or not. What if he, the, the person really made a violated the law but they're unable to find? Huh? Oh. What if let's say someone violated the law mm -hmm. but they are not able to pay the fine? This is where I say that maybe this reviewing committee can cancel that fine for them. But the thing is they violated the law maybe because of them they were like ex new thousand cases. Then so we can't let them just go. Sorry? Then you bring this case to court. Okay. So that's when it's if it prosecuted, right? Or oh, no? Yeah. So that's not your problem. What you're saying is basically this is the prop uh, if they cannot they then this case will go to court. However, you have a reviewing committee, maybe you can advise them to hmm. Okay. Uh, Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we will continue then. So, uh, uh, so now we will tell what exactly went right and went wrong. According to police officer, he, he was actually just following his responsibility by doing his job. And he was right in compound issuing a fine to Burger Hawker since the Burger Hawker violated the law. But police officer B thinks that it's important <clears throat> to be considerate of the offender situation, in this case, the Burger Hawker situation, before issuing a fine. Since during this difficult time, many, uh, many people, especially the B40 and M40 groups are financially struggling and trying their best to to earn an income. But the downside of police officer A decision is that he the misinterpretation of the penalty. Actually, the amount fine should be maximum 10,000 K. But what he issued was 50 K, which was uh, not according to the law. And on that behalf, he would like to apologize to the Burger Hawker for such a mistake, we will make sure that this doesn't happen again in the future. But if, according to police officer B, if you just give a warning, it's not appropriate action because by just giving a warning, the public uh, could just take advantage of that. And we have to make sure that during this global pandemic, we are trying our best uh, to make sure that the virus don't spread. Easily. Okay. So, uh, I have problem with A word uh, responsibility and penalty, and B for first warning. Okay. First, following is responsibility, right? To find anyone who fails to comply the curfew. Meaning, what you are saying to say is that uh, he can just find anyone. He's entitled. I would word it like more like 
following his responsibility, uh, finding people who flout the SOP. It makes yeah, more sense to say that. He can only He's find those who violated the, the law. When you say that, when you write it as right to find, you are oh, giving sorry. him the right. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, it, 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 gives, the, it gives the impression that it can, be, it can happen to anyone, right? Yeah, I would okay. say that. Uh, uh, following his responsibility, then you say that finding people who flout the SOP. Flout is F-L-O-U-T. So it's, it's just the wording on the slides, right? Yeah. I, that you find is not okay. Yeah, because you're, you're giving me the wrong impression where he can basically find anyone. Mm. So you're not making it a safe place. And then the fine amount should be 10K. And then you say that maximum. You cannot say maximum because when you say maximum, there's a minimum. What is the minimum? I think from okay. yesterday, we already concluded that it's 10K, not less, not more. Yeah. Okay. And you cannot say if not prosecuted. Uh, because that is not your power. Oh, your power okay. is not to prosecute them in court. All right, so should remove this. Then, okay. then first one is not an appropriate action. What is the appropriate action for the burger hawker? Uh, there should. There should be there a should fine. Be... Yeah. So you are, you are saying is he should have been fined. Uh, the, the what we were thinking was because. Part of the reason on uh, police police officer A is doing is because he received a complaint. Right, um, and also um, a warning in itself uh, may not be fair to others as well. It, you know, by law, if they find someone I who think, block I SOP, think, I think it's better that the last one you come to a conclusion where people should not block the uh, SOP. However, consideration should be made or should be given. To, of, uh, to people when they flout, you know? They should, you should put some kind of consideration before issuing a warning. So, sorry, uh, issuing a fine. What you're saying is, first warning is not inappropriate. Then what's the appropriate? The next question would be, what's the appropriate action? You get what I mean? You're not make, making it conclusive. So when you are being open-ended, what's the answer to for the question that is going to come. You get what I mean? Okay, so in this particular slide, we mentioned that police officer A, he was following his responsibilities, right? Uh, the mistake he made was in, the mistake he made was that the fine itself should be 10K only. Uh, that said, police officer B is right that we should be considerate of- uh, I, I, think, I think this is how you word it. So what, uh, I don't know whether we should put what went right or what went wrong, but basically if A, the police officer A is just following the responsibility and mm -hmm. office, uh, officer B is to say that he, he wants consideration to be given. So the problem here was actually that the fine exceed, exceeded 10K. So my conclusion is that why we actually implement this fine so that people will not... Uh, flout the SOP. So because we want people to follow the law. However, we also emphasize that when issuing a fine, there should be some consideration given. You put it stop like that. Okay. You get what I mean? Okay, so uh, let me try it, it reiterate what you just said. So <clears throat> anyone who um, anyone who flouts SOPs will be fined 10K. It should be 10K only. No, actually uh, what, what I'm saying is that uh, why the fine was given because you don't want people to flout SOP. That is the reason why the fine is given. So you are validating Officer A and you are also validating Officer B. However, when issuing the fine, consideration should be given. You get what I mean? Okay, so we just go straight into the point. Yeah. That 
You go straight you to the point. Say, first one thing is not an appropriate action. I will again. What's the appropriate action? Okay, so we we will go straight to the point, saying that um, a fine of ten k will be issued for anyone who flouts SOP. Sorry. But the first one is that we that um, a fine of ten k will be issued to anyone who flouts SOP. The second, uh, and the reason for that is because we want everyone to adhere to the to the SOPs as strictly as possible to help. Um, to help stop the spread of this virus. But that said, we also validate our police officer B in that we need to be considerate and uh, consider all the factors of the offender situation before we issue the fine. Oh, yeah, that's one way of avoiding it. I think you can put the title as a uh, dispute of opinion. Okay. And it should not be misrepresentation of penalty. The penalty given would be more accurate, I think. Penalty given. So what you're saying is that the penalty should not be 50k. It should only be 10k max. Sorry, not max. Only 10k. Okay, okay next. Uh, next. You, get, you guys worry about later. Okay, so it's already the solution, is it? Yeah, solutions. So, um, right. Um, okay, wait. For if persecuted, you should say that if they are unable to pay the fine, then they will be taken to court, which the punishment, if they are found to be guilty, mm -hmm. is 100,000 uh, maximum and not uh, exceeding seven years. Meaning, one day can also, because there's an O, or, or there. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, know your rights. Appeal to health ministry. I think know your right is not appeal to health ministry. Know your right is that if you were unjustly fined, I think that is knowing your right. You know that you are being fined unjustly. Or for example, in this case, that person was just waiting, meaning they are not operating. So that is what knowing your right means. It's not appealing to health ministry. Uh, so what should we... What I should think it's we better say? that you, you, you do not put everything in the slide. You can just explain. It's easier. Okay. So... Put like for example the earliest like you put then I would ask why did you word it out like this? You get what I mean? All so right. I think just say that if uh police uh you are being fined unjustly, so what we want you to know that there will be a committee. So you go straight away to what we do. Okay, so this whole thing we take out. So the clarification is part of indirectly is part of informing them of their rights. We say that uh, we like to clarify that um, that all eateries and food operators must be closed by. Okay, must be closed. What do you mean by must be closed? They cannot wait after ten p.m. So their orders cannot. What are you meaning by closed by ten p.m.? Must be uh, closed means all the activities involving people, customers coming and taking orders, cleaning. Uh, security check, everything should be done by 10 p.m. Okay. So the operators okay. must know when to take the last order. Okay, then you add, you do not need to put it in. You just add, mm -hmm. I would advise the public for the last order to be to be made at 9.30. Okay. So you give time that they will not, they will be closed by 10 p.m. So you get what I mean? Advise um, last order to be 9.30, for example, yeah, okay, or 9.45. 9 so that they can close the shop by 10 p.m. Because this is the conclusion that you have come to. Yes. So okay. this is just an advice by from us. Oh, yeah. Huh? You cannot say that all, all, all eateries must be closed and then you say advice. No, the advice when is about we, uh, taking the last orders. Must be closed. 
you you get what I mean. Your word is must be close. Must be close meaning there's no A, there's no B, but it's B. So instead of saying that must be close, we put in the advice. No, no. you can put must be close. Okay. But what you are advising the public is that by 9.30, all uh, mm. you advise that uh, 9.30 is the last order that they can take. You know, this is how you justify and you right. advise them so that by 10 p.m. they can close. Okay. Whether they follow or not, it's not your doing. You get what I mean? Yeah, understood. Uh, this is how you justify how, why did you put must be close by 10. Okay, so when we mentioned this, then we explain what we meant by close by 10 and then we advise last order should be in by 9.30. Yeah, so this is what you tell, meaning this is an addition. Mm. Okay, I okay, got it. Okay, how do you say what we what would we do? Uh, what we what would we do? So based on what we were discussing earlier, um, we would introduce a a review committee. Um, Um, to... Sorry, please be reminded you have one minute left. All right. All right. We introduce a review committee to investigate um, cases that are being appealed or being unjustly fined. I think introduce a review committee should be first, then okay. train the police. All right. So there, there is two slides, the last two slides. What are the closing remarks? Um, this was very rough. Okay, um, next. Uh, this is it. Uh, this is the last, last slide. This is the last slide. Last one? Oh, okay. no, this is uh, this is the potential media questions only. Oh, that okay. we're trying to come out. Yeah. Uh, go to the solution. How actually you're going to treat, I think another one is maybe that you put a book lock where people who have been uh, given warning so that you, uh, next time you know that these people have already uh, been given warning. You know, like this is how you ensure that you are not finding that people unjustly after this. There's a lock book which details out that this person on such a such occasion, they still operate. So next time also the same name. So by the third time you already give them fine. You know, this is how check and balance in a way, because you want to protect your uh, police officer also. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Okay, guys. Let's stop sharing our screen and take a photo like yesterday. You know, turn on your cams and smile. All right. Yeah. Nice to see you again, Zul. Uh, Clarissa. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. If you're convenient, yeah. uh, uh, not convenient, so fine. Give me a second. Gotta switch it to gallery view. Okay. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Okay, nice. Thank you, all of you. Um, okay. Yeah, all the best, guys. Yeah. By the way, mm. later you guys share screen, right? It's not sharing the PPT, you know, it's sharing the PDF. Yeah, yeah. As in your screen. And uh -huh. you submit to me, PDF. So. Okay, and please share your slide to your, and the PDF to the panels also, in case they want to review back. All right. Okay. Just in case, maybe you guys got cut off or something. Sure. So, should I leave the breakout room now? Yeah, but stay in the main room. Yeah, we will take a photo with everyone.